experience unlocked, time to level up. Hello everyone, I'm Cap Kev, but you can call me Kevin. And today I am back once again with my co-host, Zach Attack 81397 That's an interesting name, buddy. How did you come up with that? You know, life. That's how. Very nice, <laughs> man. <laughs> Very nice. Before we start to jump into our game for you guys to watch today, if you're watching on YouTube or just listening for the heck of it, I just had my microphone with my headset. That's funny. But <laughs> but we just wanted to say thank you guys so much for listening, tuning into our first episode. Right now in the I think I had mine up for about four days and I am at almost 40, view, 40 views and it's and it's crazy to see f that I was gone for so for so long that there are still people wanting to watch when I upload the video and I believe Zach you are at about like almost 60 Dude, views probably I don't even want to talk about it <laughs> when I first talk. posted YouTube is trying to destroy us. When I per, uh, first posted it, it was like in two days, it was almost at like 400 views. And then uh, YouTube started taking away my views. So I'm only at 60. Yeah, they really they really do crack crack down, I think, nowadays on bots. So, oh, I, yeah, I don't know if it was bots and they're like, oh, we don't know. Right, I'm going to take these two win usual windows, I would say we're going to take our usual windows. But we had a topic in mind today. I know Zach, I know in our last episode, Zach wanted to talk about a certain topic, but for the viewers... We're going to push that one off to the next yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, we're going to push it off because I came up with a better I, a better topic because like the view, some of the people nowadays don't know, don't know much about us and like how we, how we met. So we're going to be, so this might be one of the longest podcasts we're ever going to talk about. And it's our college life of just how we, how we kind of met. How did we become friends, Zach? Well, we lived on the same floor. Was it fresh? You were there the freshman year, right? Not sophomore. Yeah. Yeah. You were a sophomore and I was a freshman. Um, this was 2016 and we were, uh, the room, the room that you had was on. If we looked at my door, you were on the left side of me. We were, we were college neighbors. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know how we particularly met. I know, I know. There's always that, like, oh, we got the little floor meeting, so we can introduce everyone. I was everyone. gonna say, yeah, it's gotta be the floor meetings. That's how we all got introduced yeah, that, to each that's other. That's how we got all, all, all introduced. But it was actually your, your roommate that got everyone kind of like talking more and like hanging out more because he would always chill in the lobby of our floor was it ronald at the time yeah, yep ronald oh you think you think ryan is going to make you <laughs> get us to talk we brought ryan out of his shell we broke him yeah he's now like almost a frat boy alcoholic he was so innocent he was a frat <laughs> boy i think my senior year is when he because he was a junior when i was a senior I think, and that's when he kind, of, that's when he kind of got into being a fraternity. Unless, unless it was when he was a freshman, and that was a sophomore. I think it was a freshman. Really? Okay. He, like towards the end, he started doing stuff like yeah, extra, and then uh, it was like an Asian fraternity. I want to say. Oh gosh, way to way to yeah. bring out that card, man. <laughs> well, I, it was predominantly <laughs> Asians, just staying yeah. facts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and and I remember when I used to have his uh, roommate, uh, Sam. Well, well, Sam, of course, on the floor. She, she, she had a girl roommate. But when they when they got their own apartment, that's kind of when they were like more more roommates. And I saw his like initiation because she posted it on her snap story, and it was like crazy. They had like mask on, and then they did like all these like crazy like backflips and stuff to introduce himself it was like insane it was pretty insane of what 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 kind of went on i even think didn't didn't brandon was that what was that his name brandon even joined that fraternity uh, i don't know actually i think they were just friends yeah, yeah. yeah it's like i can't even can't even tell but no so freshman year do you remember hmm. were you there with riley yes when yeah. riley was on the floor okay, oh no so oh no no riley R riley was in his studio apartment at the time. Oh, by that time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, but on the floor there was there was a bunch of people that I that I got to know my freshman year. There was Zach, 
There was his roommate Ronald. We had we had a couple other good good friends. We had Tom, Corey, Rodney, Jimmy. You guys, if you are a fellow Capcav subscriber, you know many years ago, it do do when I I got it. Hang on, let me let me take a step uh, outside real quick. It's it's crazy to see too because I started watching uh, re rewatching some of my videos I made and it's crazy to see that some of the videos I did what it have now became like seven eight eight years old and that was back in college it's so crazy to see that but if you people out there who are still who have been subscribed for a while you know I you know a guy named named Rodney aka the the hottest rod he we met we met through the college yeah. floor as well too oh my goodness oh god i don't oh god. have what's ammo what's up i don't god i just went down <laughs> but so for the people out there i met the hottest rod through through college so we had jimmy rodney my brother was on there there was a lot of people i feel like could could you name almost everyone on the floor during that time because i feel like i could there's two <laughs> There's a lot of rooms, and there was, hmm, I don't know if I can name all of them because there was me, you, my brother, oh my Jimmy, Rodney, Ronald, Tom, Corey, Jamie, R C R R C A, I think, or was it was an R A, and then um, there, were, and then and then and then there was Adrian. Oh, I remember him. Yeah, and then um, who uh, what's his. Agent, and then we had Braxton and D. There were so many. There was AJ. There was Cornell. AJ was... and Cornell. Oh my God! There's just so many we could we could just name off. But like we're we're not here to talk about naming off stuff. We're talking about how we met, and it was and like of course the floor the every. So when you become part of a college, I don't know if they do it in every college, but if you go if you got accepted to NIU. And you are in one of the dorms. There is always going to be a floor meeting where you meet every, at least everyone on your floor, because they want the, they want you to make friends. They they don't want you to feel left out or like lonely. They want you to make friends. They want to explain the rule, the do's yeah, and oh do yeah, nots oh yeah, on the floor. Oh yeah, but but of course the uh, do nots become do's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I mean, two are like. Is it an RA or was it a CA on the floor? It was a CA. CA. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I can't remember what it stood for though. Room. Room associate. I don't know. I don't know. Cause oh my god! No, not room associated. I keep thinking R R A, but you're saying C no, C A. It's, CA. it's, it's not CA. like that. Campus associate. I don't know, but I remember. It's the dumbest thing ever, too. Oh, my God. I got to tell you one thing, too. When I was a sophomore and uh, and and you were a junior and we played a lot of Fortnite, it was, oh, my God. It's during It was during quiet hours. Screw freaking quiet hours sometimes, too, because, <laughs> because there's a lot of people that get, because I straight up want to be like, okay, don't you see, like, other people on other floors, too, and you're calling me out for this? Because, oh my god, we got we got a victory, and I went crazy, and all of a sudden I hear a knock on my door. I open it, it's two freaking CAs from different floors because they had to do their rounds, and it's like, uh, it's, it's <laughs> quiet hours, can you be quiet? It's like, I wanted to say, fuck you, so bad. It's like, let me have my fun. Meanwhile, with Rachel and her doing her rounds, yeah. we were having a fucking party, and she does her rounds, yeah. and yeah. I don't get in trouble. Yeah, 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 Rachel, Rachel, okay. No offense to Jamie, but I really enjoyed Rachel. Rachel more. Yeah, yeah. she was more laid back. Late, laid back. Um, I mean, beautiful at the time. <laughs> Jamie or Rachel? Rachel. I like to. I like Rachel. You weren't her type, man. No, she, no, no, uh, no. Okay, no. hold on. She's. She. I used to see a bunch of pictures of her boyfriend on like. Yeah, I don't think Facebook. she's. Even, I don't see it anymore. Yeah, so I don't yeah. Know. I think they probably just broke up. But yeah, so we have, so the, so the CA would always do a floor meeting, and that's how we like met. Zach was known as the person who had his secret stash of booze <laughs> in in his in his closet in like a huge ass tub, like tote, I think. <laughs> and like everybody, everybody was trying to get Zach's booze. I feel I every, only share with select yeah, few. Yeah, only share with select few. He would he would make sure to have I th 
have you always make sure to have like wine coolers because it's like no you're not taking this here here have this two percent wine cooler instead gotta keep the wine coolers for the ladies man yeah the ladies are just people that you're like i'm not sharing this with you. here take this <laughs> that's crazy yeah and then my brother was was known as the guy that they would go to if they wanted yeah. to get alcohol because because his nickname was pops because he was the oldest one there the oldest one on the you floor know, I used him to buy alcohol, but I, I I gave him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I gave him commission. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. As long as you pay him back and stuff. Yeah. yeah, but like, how how we got like like it going a bit was floor meetings and going to the dining hall to get food. Um, I know Tom and Corey made made a floor flag football team. And they mainly basically made almost everyone sign up. He even made Zach sign up, and Zach was only there for maybe one or two games to play. Okay, as I the played one game. I played one game, and I sat in for another, and stopped going. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you would just—they were trying to fill in positions, and and like we need a, we need a center, hey, Zach. So Zach was just the guy who got on the ground, put his hand on the ball, and when they said hike, he would toss it to Tom. Or Corey, or or whoever. I knew how to handle the balls. You man. knew <laughs> I knew how to handle some balls. I thought you were straight. <laughs> oh God, I went down again. <laughs> oh no! Came they came out of nowhere. <laughs> they came out okay. of nowhere. That's crazy. Um, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. The the games. Yeah, we made. I'm it. not a big fa uh, sports fan. No, no, we made it. We made it to every every year except for. My junior year, I stopped going because I really, it was a terrible, it was a terrible time for me for, for, for that thing. So like we, we made it every single year we made it to the championship and never won it. We always came up short, but I know junior year I stopped going because I, they said, they said, oh, oh, we needed you. And I just sat for two games. And I'm like, this is just stupid. So I, so I never showed up again. And yeah, no, I just never did sports yeah. in general. Yeah, I'm yeah. a team player. Yeah, but you were a team player. You came and snapped that ball. Yeah, and then and then we had uh, floor floor basketball team too, and that was fun. I didn't do that one. Oh well, we made we made it to the to the finals every year, but always just choked. Don't know what the deal was because I feel like because I think we the person that we versed in the finals was always the guy was always the team that we lost to in the season. So of course you know what the outcome's gonna be. If we can yeah. if we cannot capitalize capitalize beforehand from from the past, then it's not a big thing. So anyway, that's kind of basically how it, how it happened. And I don't know, it's just and then we just started playing games and stuff. I know there was there was times where where we would watch <laughs> watch The Walking Dead in your room. <laughs> Good times. Good times. We would go to this place called Sharks. The most oh greasy. My God, dude, I want to go back there just to get the greasy sandwich. The greasy <laughs> stuff. It was so good. I'm going to make an hour road trip just for some food if they're still in business. Well, if you're going, then you better take me away. Take me with you. I, I would definitely go get some wings. They had some good wings. Oh, my God. I remember this one time where I ordered the, the wrong wings. I ordered the wrong wings. Instead, of I wanted barbecue wings and i actually just got like low i got 20 piece chicken wings white meat chicken wings that's oh, it do you remember memes mad memes mad oh my goodness Dude, he would always have uh sharks wings like every other day memes mad that is that's a person i totally forgot about too oh and then it's like roommate was also a guy named matt the nicknames we have for people: yeah. Chicken Nugget Cassie. There Chicken Nugget uh, Cassie. Neck Neck Cassie. Neck Cassie. Oh, was that Chicken Nugget Cassie? She no, that was Chicken Nugget Cassie. No, hey, Chicken Nugget. Get away from my window, boy. Chicken Nugget Cassie. Who is the? Who do we call the other Cassie? Short Cassie. Was, I don't know. I'm gonna get in trouble. But wasn't it sexy Cassie? Because I, or, or was it? Because she was the the better looking one. But mm. no, was it curly? She had curly hair. It was yeah, something. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it was something. Because like, because like, we had everything. I think the only person that we did not have a nickname for was the was the Emily per, was Emily on there. Yeah, I don't think so. What? Do, 
I mean, there was Danielle and all that. But... Yeah, there was Danielle and all that, but but those were simple names. I feel like I feel like it was just like because there was like lots of people's names, and we just had to like make sure but... to 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 describe them in a way. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's just a lot of people in general. Um, yeah. So. So, so the question that I would like to, I want you to talk about, you know, as we keep on talking about, because we was, because of course college, college was a way that we met, but what was the college life for you like? Can you, can you describe, oh, oh. can you, can you describe your like, you know, your like years at college? Like, like, what was it like? What did you do? What was the, what was the basic schedule like for or, you know, because you did business. So what was it like being a business major? So overall, my experience was fun. It was positive. Business. I really enjoyed the classes. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the stuff that I learned. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was kind of busy. We had to go to like, so many mandatory like uh, meetings. Ooh. You know, you meet with like company executives oh, and gosh. stuff like that. Uh, like, like what companies? Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree. Is oh that, my God. There is, so is that how you got into Dollar Tree? Was because <laughs> you met the company? It's like I'm gonna be like you. Oh gosh, no. Um, that freaking, that I can't even remember no. which ones. <laughs> there were there were so many. I only got into a few. I just had a check off. Mm -hmm. Um, so many buckets. There were like so many different. I don't know what to call them, and you had to check them off. They were like uh, learning or you know hands on some stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I did a few of all of them, but I don't think I went to any like major companies that we know of, like Walmart and stuff like that. I know the business class did work with Walmart. Oh gosh, oh, to, uh, my. make a program. Some of this just it just sounds awful because when you have to like work with. Work with companies like Walmart. That just seems. I mean, I mean, it's supposed to be part of your major, and you want to do business. You want to know how like a store works or something. But it's just like, God, having to help with Walmart. That just yeah. that, that just get that's uh, like it just gave you bad taste in your mouth there. Oh, you gotta work with yeah. Walmart. <laughs> it, see, I remember they talked about it. There was a very simple solution for uh, Walmart. It was creating a relationship database, um, and that was all they needed. Um. I don't know all these all these like retail stuff like I don't know like 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 I feel like out of out of all the retails I think it would be great to, to partner up with Target. <laughs> I don't know I oh. when I was at NIU I applied for Target and they did not hire mm. me oh, so, so yeah. I applied for Walmart <laughs> and I was working for them Walmart for a semester yeah, yeah it's like Walmart or Walmart will hire anyone I feel like V hires anyone. Like it's a lot. It's 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 crazy how like some, some stories. Don't get me wrong yeah. though. It was a part time job. Walmart works the fuck. Out yeah, of yeah, they Excuse do. Excuse my language, but uh, you know, I just wanted some money so I can have spending money. Mm -hmm. They got me doing forty hours, five days a week. I'm like, uh, oh, I got disconnected. <laughs> I got disconnected too. What the what? heck just happened? <laughs> but continue, continue while we uh, um, get this back. They're up working me going. forty hours. I'm like, I still have class work. The shifts are two to eleven, so I'm done with class. I go to work, and by the time I get back to the dorms, it's like midnight, and I'm like trying to study and do mm -hmm. homework, and mm -hmm. it was a very toxic work environment. <laughs> but no, I had a I had a good manager, a good mm -hmm. supervisor over there, so I guess that mm -hmm. was pretty good. So you talked about meetings and stuff, but what was like classes though for you? Like, like, can you give me a, a, a rundown? Um, like, I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty boring. They're it's pretty boring. numbers and statistics. But like, you know, when did economics you, were? When did you what? start? Like, when did you start during the day? Did you start like eight in the morning, or did you like to do more afternoon classes? Um, so I was more of a morning person. I made the rookie <laughs> mistake. I did eight a.m. class, mm -hmm. uh, waking up so early. Um, there was one, there was one semester I was doing like a nine to five almost like my first class was at nine and I didn't finish my last class until like five o'clock. Mm -hmm. But, um, besides that, just sitting Jeez, there, geez, I like did a, a, it's like a nine to five shift. I know <laughs> it's crazy, but yeah, it, yeah. So now, and then the one random art or 
acting class I took. Ah, you're welcome. Dude, I'm still never going to get over being the only guy in that class. Uh, yeah, which which that's, like, surprising, too, because I thought there would be at least be a couple guys. But, you know, I... No, so the very first day, there was one guy. And then the next day, or the next uh, class, they just never came back. So I think they dropped it. But, yeah, yeah I'm in here with, like, 20 other girls. Um, we got to do stretches every morning. It was my first class of the day. It's 9 a.m. I'm in jeans. Oh, like, we're going to do some stretches and stuff like that. I'm trying to do stretches in jeans. And you got, you got to come comfortable, here. man. Why didn't you go that, comfortable? <laughs> well, if I came comfortable, um, I would be doing more than just coming to class if you catch my drift. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut that one. What? I'm going to I'm going to have to cut that one from my video. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. The teacher was awesome. Oh yeah, yeah, you had uh oh, what was her name? I can Fitrano, see. Fatrano, wasn't it? Or Emily like Fatrano. That's a lot of Emily's at friggin' NIU, I tell you. <laughs> Dude, the drama on as well. We're, we're going to get to that, the drama. You yeah. remember the Oh yeah. Drama. Oh yeah, I remember some of the dramas. But, we'll get to we'll get to some but we'll get to that. But then, what, were, uh, what were your classes like? My classes, so I am glad that you asked about that. It's it's very big. So the person in charge of the design tech, the head advisor, his name is Tracy Nunnally, and he is a Tony Award winner. He has a bunch of, he has a couple Tonys, so he's pretty top notch. But he wanted you to at least in at least enjoy your 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 life while also being being busy with all of the theater stuff he wanted you to at least at least you know if times are being hard on you right now go go enjoy that club that you that you joined do all that but the other freaking <laughs> advisors were, were, were like oh it's just gonna be very tough stuff you know you're not gonna have time time to do all this time to do all that <laughs> and freaking Tracy's saying the opposite stuff and he's like oh yeah, well okay 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 they're true about that but but we but we want you you know it's freshman year we want you to go do something we want you right. to at least experience the college life before you have to jump right into it next year or something like that. so I had I did I basically just like followed this this outline of what because I, I had Tracy as my advisor and for the first three years I had him and he had this outline and I followed it he had everything outlined for me all the classes that like I that are required to take take every every year and it was and so freshman year was like probably the 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 he was he was right freshman year was the more the most time to try your best to experience what you can outside on the campus and stuff because with sophomore hits yes it gets a bit yes it picks up pace the and all that stuff. yeah and like a lot of time I, management. Yeah, yeah, a lot of time management because fresh. Oh, geez, freshman year, I um, I only had my first my first semester. I had one, two, one, two, three. I feel like there was a fourth. I feel like I had I had four theater requirement classes. No, no, I had. I think I had, I think I had three, three theater classes and three gen ed classes. No, two, two gen ed classes to have a total of five classes. Because I had five classes first semester. Uh, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I made the bit. I made this. I made the mistake too of do taking an eight o'clock, eight o'clock class <laughs> because. Because the people that I met during orientation were, were like, oh, let's take this class and we can go get breakfast afterwards. That rarely happened. Um, so we took communication. Um, communications at, at 8 in the morning, which was just a speech class. Right. I think, I think it was like I took that one too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I took that. And then had this huge amount of time to spare because at 1 o'clock I... I had that theater class that I that I made you take, um, <laughs> the uh, acting for non-acting majors, which is still one of the favorite classes I have ever taken because it was just so easy, so relaxing. Stretch, it was stretches. It was a fun class. Yeah, yeah, it was a fun class. 
and I and it's still today one of the favorite things. And like every time when someone says, "Oh, I got, I got, I need to get, I need to have a credit or something in like whatever whatever section it was," because in some of these uh, general no uh, knowledge these knowledge domains that, that that we had to take, there was it was three sections. We had creativity, nature, technology, and I think like history maybe or something. I can't remember what the third one was. Yeah. But like in the creative, there were theater stuff, and so what was what was cool about about uh, the uh, theater, the theater class is that yes, they are requirements for your theater thing, but they were but you could they could also count as a credit for your knowledge domains. So that was pretty cool, because I had history of theater as a requirement for theater, and I got to use it also as a credit too. So that was my that was my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. And then Tuesday, I had a class. I had, oh my God. Yeah, freshman year was god awful for, for classes in the morning for me because every single day was I had an 8 a.m. Because, yeah. <laughs> because Tuesday, I had to take whatever this aesthetics of theater, maybe. It was god awful. I hated that class. Um, but that was like at 8 in the morning, too, till 9, 9.15. And then we got to bolt it, bolt it to, to the center to center of campus for a nine a nine thirty class of another theater class. Then I would have nothing nothing until two o'clock where I had to take an English class. And have you ever had the this professor for English? His name was Mark. I don't think so. Okay. But I don't remember okay, my well, teacher's name well, for well, that. Well there was this English teacher his name was Mark and he was fantastic his classes would fill up so quick because the way he teach was so was so fun and simple. He basically he basically was just like, "You got this. Do on this day. Type what you want. Say what you want. Just express yourself." I, re- I and I remember the first paper we did. He wanted a ten page paper, all about you. It's an all about you paper. And here's what I want you oh, to gosh. do. Here's here's what I want you to do. Do not even look at the screen. Just type away. If you if you were, I just want to see how you type. What what your expression is? How do you how do you like to express your papers? Um, I want this to be in a first person view too, a first person view. So I, me, right, stuff like right. that. And like, I don't want you to look at your paper. If you repeat words, oh well, continue. <laughs> it was it was so yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it was so cool. It was so it was so cool and different because because you know usually English teachers are like strict. You need to you need to have the correct punctuation. You need to correct all of this. You know you know it's got to be correct or it's got to be correct. And if you have have one word wrong, we dock you. We dock you five points. <laughs> but this wasn't that. So that was my freshman year. Um, freshman year we also had to do a show. At least one show per. Per stuff. Well, actually, that wasn't really my freshman. Year. That was my freshman year, first semester. I didn't get in the second semester yet. But that was, but that was my first semester. We had to do a show, um, and then it was just, it's just basically, basically, freshman year was like, we're gonna throw all this at you and see if you're able to to compete with this major because because it was true because like once because they threw a lot of stuff at you, they they did. I feel like they did this on purpose. They threw a lot of stuff at you. And they just want to see if you were capable of it because after that it was like smooth, smooth sailing. Like sophomore year was easy, junior year was easy, senior year was was easy too. But of course there was like a lot of work. But they but they barely yeah. but they barely were like a hard ass on you. They were hard out. They were hard ass on you the first year. But af- but after they saw that you made it through year one, you're golden. We know you're golden. We're gonna be we're gonna be helpful. Do do the best that we can. There will be there will be sometimes too where like we're not we're gonna take a step back and you have to do this independently, which they did. Um, when when I when I figured out which which uh, section I wanted to emphasize in, that's when that's when they like they like take a step back and you need to do this by yourself. You need to learn independent work and all that stuff. So there was so so that was. So that was my first semester of freshman year. Second semester, I ha- I took four classes because um, one thing with college life is that you, you 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 may struggle of trying to trying to pay off 
pay off, get get the loan in so you can pay off for the for the year of the semester. And 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 I struggled with that a lot. So there was like times where I was like, I don't even know how, if I'll be here next semester. Freshman freshman year, second semester, I was almost at that. Um, so instead of my five classes, I was only able to take four. And I had, I had, I can't remember what I did, but I know I had a math class Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, um, in the afternoon. Oh, I took intro to jazz music for my Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, morning class. (laughs) That was, that was fun. That was fun. If you... If if you want a fun class to do, and I'm down, I did. I sacrificed myself to get that kaboom. But if you want like a random class and just all all we did was listen to jazz music, it was so simple, relaxation. It was great. But it, yeah, and then freshman, uh, then Tuesday Thursday, I oh god, oh god, I keep getting kicked as I'm trying to talk, but. Um, oh gosh! Tuesday, Thursday. Ammo. Tuesday, Thursday. I had, uh, I had a theater class in the morning, and then I had lab in the afternoon on Tuesday, Thursdays. And then that was it for freshman year. Sophomore. I'll just give you a quick rundown with my sophomore. Sophomore, junior, senior year was basically I would have all these classes, uh, more more theater classes, and I would cram in like like a knowledge domain to get that out of the way. Cause, cause freshman year was like the way, was like the, was like the time to get all of your knowledge domains and your gen, and your gen eds done, so you right. just focus on your major. But basically, I would do all my classes, and then I would be spending a lot of time in the costume shop, working on my projects for my costume classes, because I emphasized in costumes. But I would be in there right after whenever class is done, and I could, and I could be there. Be there from 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 like five to two in the morning or to midnight. There was yeah, that's insane. Yeah, it's it's insane. And then there are there are times too. Oh my god, I suck right now. But there were times too where like I would be in or I would be in the computer lab doing the same thing too because I know that like I knew there. <laughs> I totally had this random plan of of. My lighting design class for theater, I took that. Se- I had to take. It was required to take it senior year, so I did. Second, second semester, no, first semester, and I would, I would, if I had a project due on Monday, I would go into the computer lab at like noon, 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 noon on Sunday, and I would. Oh God, I need ammo, and I would, I would be in there for like, for like fifteen hours or something just finishing up my project for like Monday and you know sometimes too there will be classes where like you would you would need to do that because because you will be focused and it will turn out perfectly fine and I'm running around in circles so I can try to get that ammo I got a dog chasing me it's pretty crazy and then and then while and then also too every every year you would be doing a show so so you know you got all these classes and you got to do a theater show sometimes Sometimes too, you would be doing. Um, oh my God! Five downs, five freaking downs already from these dogs. Maybe it was. I want to buy ammo because yeah. we're gonna get a max ammo. Yeah. But yeah, and then you do all these shows, and sometimes, and like also too, with sophomore year to senior year, you'd be doing almost every single show. There was no, there was no downtime. My downtime was was the weekends. And sometimes too, the weekends would, would consist of theater. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead, Zach. Shoot him! Shoot him! I'm out of ammo. It didn't even show on my screen. It didn't even show on my screen. I'm out of ammo. Oh yeah. Mm. So that <laughs> so that's a lot of. I talked a lot there. Felt like I was just talking to myself, Zach. So. <laughs> oh, time, I was listening to his story. I know, but it's time for you to talk. Time for you to talk. I will. What you got to say? <laughs> well, um, do you want to do another zombie? You want to switch it over to multiplayer? Yeah, switch over to multiplayer. Um, yeah, no, my classes were definitely not as fun as mm-hmm. that. There's a lot, of, like, really, it was just way more 
serious. Like, I, I wouldn't call it serious. All the work was like had its own ups and downs. There wasn't a joy to it. It was a lot of the crunching numbers, looking at statistics. I just spilt my water all over. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a lot of like statistics, running numbers, looking at trends. Um, trends? I mean, I really did enjoy them. Like, what kind of trends are we talking about here? And, like, fluctuations and like, uh -huh. markets and, you know, sales and stuff like that. Oh, so, like... So like yeah, what, not the what? kind of trends where, uh, we're used to. Mm. So, like, what what, um, what products are in, what products are out. Did you ever have to work, look... Did you ever, like, do stocks? Like, like you know, like, oh... You, like, remember that time when, like, everybody bought a, bought a stock of, of GameStop because it was just, yeah. like, popping all of a sudden? Like, did you ever do that? So we never did that? anything like that. I mean, we like covered stuff on it, but mm. never really looked into like markets and okay. stuff like that. Okay. Um, it was more so of like the big picture. Like I took like uh, there was macro and microeconomics. There were you Did know you Bitcoin. <laughs> No, oh. that was before Bitcoin. <laughs> okay, I was just like, God dang! Like, you're your business major. Were you like, were you like trying to be the Jeffrey Bezos of like Amazon or like, or like the Elon Musk of Tesla and and Twitter, aka X now, like anything like that? No, I really just wanted to, honestly, like, just learning this stuff mm -hmm. to okay. get the knowledge. Like, I took an operations management and like information system, so I got to learn how to use like. Um, Excel really good and like Access Sheet and um. Oh, so it's like a bunch of spreadsheets you had to learn because you have to like. It just seems like that that is just a lot of lot of into numbers. So it, much it really numbers. is so a lot of numbers. numbers. There's a lot of formulas you have to use. Formulas. To, um, yeah, a lot of formulas to um. Like. Like, actually get numbers and like stuff if we like take that. like if we take x x to the second power plus y to the second power divide it over x to the second power subtract by y to the second power we get we get 55. okay don't even get me started with that i took a um, business calculus which is notorious for being the most difficult course on campus um learning about derivatives and inversive and dude i had to take that class three times it was so hard what? um i like my accounting classes we took like a there was like internal accounting and like external accounting um okay. that was pretty difficult mm -hmm. and our teacher she was really nice she, like she'll curve the class or the grades and stuff like that um however so we had one test we had to take and she was in a current. So, like, if the highest score is, like, a 70, you know, that would be, like, an A instead of a C. One person aced that exam, got, like, a 99%, threw off the entire curve for everyone else. So, if you had, like, a 60, you got a 60% instead of, like, a B because of one guy. I'm like, this guy. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, you could get... All these great grades, but if someone messes up, you all get the same grade? So, for the exam, no. So, the the exams were hard, and, like, the the board or whatever, like, mm -hmm. makes, makes them and stuff. And the mm -hmm. teacher knew that, that it was hard. Okay. So, assuming everybody was going to do bad on the test, and let's say the higher score was only 70%. Okay. Typically, that's a C. But since it's the highest score, that will be the new line of an A. So if you got a 60, that'd be a B. If you got a 50, that would be a C, you know? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So when we were taking the exam, one guy, I think the average score is like 60% on this exam. And one guy got like a 99%. So instead of the score being 60, because... That would have been like the highest one. The guy got a 90, and that was not the highest score. Threw off the curve for everyone else. But she didn't do it often. Mm -hmm. But just on the big ones. That's a big thing, too, when they when they say that they grade on a curve, and like the curve's not even that great. 
I don't know, she she knew that the class was hard and she was gonna help us out as much as she could. <laughs> Fuck everyone up. Um Yeah, no, I took calculus and I had a teacher. Every single day he would play the same song as you walked into the classroom. <laughs> uh -huh. And don't get me wrong, he was playing like the Mavericks, he was like, there goes my baby or something. Oh, I love the song. Oh, I thought it was me like, <laughs> closing time, time for you to go around the something whiskey and beans. <laughs> oh, you got sniped. Oh my god, I almost got sniped too. He fucking 360'd off the second floor, and as soon as I hit the ground, somebody killed me immediately. <laughs> That's crazy. Um... I like my economics classes. I started taking a whole bunch, so I can try to minor in economics. Um, I never did. Um, my teacher, um, Indian, I remember her name because it was so unique. It was Manjuri Tulakdar. Oh, God. And she was really cool. And there was one time we went to class, and she was like, oh, there's really not that many people. Like, uh, maybe we won't have, like, a real class or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I got up. <laughs> To and go left. leave the class. Well, I I always sit in the front row because I feel like I learn better. So as you but, so 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 they straight up saw you leave. You're freaking in the first dude. If you want to. Okay. Try no. 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 Here's the thing. So I got my book bag. I stood up. She was like, "But she was like, I would really like you to stay because and, I love you. Know, you. I love you. Lost <laughs> by one. She was like, I really want you to stay for the class though." I'm like, oh, and I just kind of smiled, and I still left the class. Oh, my God. And I feel so bad about it to this day. I'm like, I got to go in the next Wednesday or whatever yeah. and and look her in the face that I didn't just leave her class as she asked me yeah, to stay. There was, like, there was, like, times, too, where I would always be, like, nervous when I, like, got up and left class sometimes, too. Because there was, a, there was a lot of times, too, when I did math 100 or 101, whatever it was, that I would, I had a, I had a, I had a friend and like, he, 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 he never went to class. And then the times that he did, he was like, Hey, you want to, you want to come along? I got my car, take it back to your room. It's like, okay, fine. <laughs> so I would get up and leave. It's like, <laughs> whatever. And then, and then there was like time, there was this time too, where like, he was like, Hey, I'm going to pick you up, pick you up. And so you can, so you can take, take in my homework with you too. And just, uh, put in. And then when we got there, I was like, dude, yeah, I just, can you just, can you just wait? Cause like, because like that was also during my first show week freshman year. And I was just like all tired and stuff. And like, I just was not feeling it. And I was and so I literally <laughs> walked in down the aisle, put the homework in and I walked back out. Good thing there was like a little, there was a little pack. This is, oh my God. There, yeah, but it's just like. You know, college college life, you you will come to realize like it's okay to skip when needed. Some, uh, some teachers took attendance and yeah, that would affect yeah. your sport, but some of them that didn't. As long as you managed your stuff correctly, you were yeah you were good. Yeah, and like and like yes, you would get some freebies, but after those freebies, like your grade gets docked, and then like next thing you know, you're gonna be kicked out of the class. Yeah, it's it seems like a hard life from like what we have been describing. If we still have people listening to us after this boring talk of our classes, thank you so much for, for sticking around. But like, See, but like boring. This is why we gotta talk about the drama. Of I know, I know, I know, I know. Grade. I was, I was, I was getting there. I was waiting, but it's just like you know, you know, you had we had things to talk about. We had things to talk about. We talked. We had an easy, easy time talking about how we met, and then we talked about classes real quick. Now, go ahead, Zach. Take take it away. Take a talk about the drama. We had okay. on, on our well, you know the drama about everything. You know there was stuff with like Sam and Natalie. Mm -hmm. You know Emily, Danielle, mm -hmm. and Ashley. Mm -hmm. I remember Tom and Cornell almost fought. Oh really? Are, were you not there for that mm -hmm. party? Which party? Um, it was. I, oh, these are enemies. I thought these are my team members. Um, do you remember the barn house that we would go to, or they called the barn house? No. So it was a house. It just kind of looked like a barn. Uh -huh. um, I know. I know. So, you took him to your cabin one time. You took people to the cabin, and I know. I I always missed out on that because I had plans happening. <laughs> or um, I or I had a show. I had a show that week too, and I missed out on your cabin. I have not seen that cabin once yet. <laughs> um, so the whole floor when it was like Tom, you know, Corey, um, Cornell, mm -hmm. Riley, like so we all went. 
Mm-hmm. And I think Pornell just got a little too drunk because he ended up spitting on Tom. Oh, dude, he freaking he freaking gets uh, gets out of hand too. I tell you, he has his moments. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I mean, I mean, I remember, I remember the first week too. To this was when when Cornell was single and he was trying to make a move on on like Emily and Emily got like so so like oh, uncomfortable yeah, I, and she and she straight up like had to had to, had to leave. Yeah, um, I don't know he had some interesting times. Mm-hmm. He was a good guy. I mean he's he's married now. Mm-hmm. He's just having kids. Oh really? I don't he's know if married. he's married. I know he's having kids. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, so I, I guess Cornell had drank too much, spit on Tom. And I heard Emma was like, no, Tom, don't do anything. And, you know, Tom's like, I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to oh, him. Freaking Tom. You can wait. And I'm like, oh, man. So I'm over here half wasted. I just walk in between them. <laughs> half, <laughs> half wasted. You walk in between and he throws a punch. He actually hits got, you. I got knocked out. But we ended that up taking Cornell. I was like, you know, we ended up like, yeah, we should probably leave the party. Yeah. And Rodney was there because Rodney ended up uh, driving Cornell back, and I don't know how I ended up back to the dorms before them. Mm-hmm. Um, we we're sitting in the lounge, and it was so comedic. When the elevator opened up, Cornell just kind of fell out of the elevator. Oh my gosh! And I swear you were there because we had to drag him back to his room. <laughs> like, like by his by his legs, and he's just like, ah. yeah. We had to drag him back to his room. <laughs> I remember, I remember a funny, a funny drunk story I had. I don't know, I don't know why, because I had so many options I could have, but I, but I literally was like, I was messaging Emily about like, I'm still drunk, can someone come get me? And then they, and then she was able to get to get you oh, and Ronald to come get me. Yeah, me and Ronald came and picked you up. I remember that when you were at New Hall. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't even that far away, but I seriously was like, if I take one step, I'm gone. Uh, <laughs> I remember you- that. Do you remember the fun story of you messing with Sam's birthday on the calendar? Oh my calendar? god! Yeah, seriously, seriously. Our floor, we were good. You know, you know, we never took jokes seriously. We never took jokes seriously, and we had this board next to the to Elevators. the elevator, and everyone and and everyone would put their. Uh, like I guess this, the uh, CA will put will put names on like oh their birthdays is their birthdays that and there were like times too where like where like we're like it wasn't it wasn't only only just me and we would have and we were like erase we do it everybody yeah yeah it's like we would we would we would do like a funny joke and we would erase the birthday off off on that day or put something funny there I think they did something to you on for like for like when it was like your birthday they probably put like Zach something day. I don't know. There was, there was something. There, there's something I can't remember, but, but, but we had these two. I guess, maybe they have matured now. I don't know. I haven't spoken to them. One of them probably has not, but they, they, they would take stuff serious. They would never. They would never. I don't think they ever really know what a, what a joke was. <laughs> and well, so, so you erased her name, <laughs> and then she got really upset. Mm. And I remember being there too. She's over here fucking crying. Oh, uh, was I the last kill? N- no. Okay, good. I, 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 th- I thought I was too. I okay. I wasn't okay. Okay. Sometimes too, our jokes. You know, if they, I wish they knew we'd take a joke because like I wasn't intending to make them cry. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just, it's just. Well, you a, can't do it. And she was like, oh, you know what? Who keeps doing it? And like, I knew where it was, but I wasn't saying anything. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, Ryan, because Ryan was my roommate, he's like, you gotta, you know, if you know who it is, you gotta say something. He's like, I don't want to be a part of this. And uh, um. Yeah, that was the whole thing, and just for erasing a name, that was the thing. Mm-hmm. A little harmless joke. A little harmless. That joke. blown up into proportions. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah. Take it to say it's um, always, yeah, like they always say it's always a quiet one because I barely talked. <laughs> I barely <laughs> talked on that floor too. Yeah, I mean, sneaky one. (laughs) Was it sophomore year? I think it was the best one. We all Mm. hung out. We all knew each other. Mm. Junior year, that's when it started getting a little weird. Your junior year or my junior year? It was my third year on the floor. So yeah, Yeah, I think it was junior year. Yeah, yeah. Um, Freshman sophomore year was definitely a fun, a a fun time. We all were hanging out in the lobby, having good times, and it was always funny too when like our CA jumped jumps in the hang where we all just disband. That was with Jamie. Yeah. yeah I remember yeah. having a party in the room. Mm-hmm. Um, 
we had I think we had the entire floor in my dorm room. Remember that? You're only allowed six people or whatever. I had I, like 18 people in I there. Never knew that. We took a I, you had to have been there, I swear, because we took Ryan's bed, we took his <laughs> mattress, we threw his mattress in a different bedroom, and we used his bed for beer pong. Um, well, then but, that's, and, well, then that's got to be your junior, because that was with Rachel. Well, because see, Ryan... Rachel went out of town, I remember that, Rachel was gone. <laughs> okay. um, so, we took his bed, put it in a different room, I remember Sam got uncomfortable, so her and Ryan went to Brandon's room. Um, <laughs> went to Brandon's <laughs> Yeah, went to Brandon's room. Oh my so God. had this huge party, and Rachel was like, "I'm gonna do rounds." So when she came by, we just turned the music down. That's kind of. Uh, that's kind of. That's kind of. That's kind of hard. Hard to agree on. Where it was like, oh, she's so uncomfortable. Yet, she wasn't the same. Like one of the wildest people outside of our, of our dorm. Like she would be mm-hmm. at like fraternities, people's people's apartments, doing all this. Oh, I don't partying. I thought. That, I, I don't think. We must not be talking about the same Sam. I don't think she did much. She didn't do much. I oh. feel like maybe she escalated. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I remember that because uh, Rachel was doing her rounds. And uh, when she was done, I was like, do you want to come over and drink with us? So I had the CA drink in. We had, like, music Oh, yeah, and then, and then, and then like, Nat- Natalie was trying to get her, like, to be, like, demoted from CA or something. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Couldn't just have fun. That's yeah, all we were trying to yeah. do. There was no harm. Just a little bit of yeah, uh, no, drinking. No harm some music. Foul. You can't just have a good time. Cannot, could not have like a nice little joke. But it's just, oh my god, this is that's just that's just crazy, crazy what yeah. these two people did to us. Well, and then the famous words. Do you remember? Every time I try to hang out with someone, one of the girls would come in and say, "Uh, we need to talk." Oh my god. Do you god, remember yes. that? Yep. Every single time. Zach Zach was Zach was known as the not just the beer guy, the alcohol guy, but he was also the ladies man. Somehow. Somehow all the girls fell for you. <laughs> I don't think that was the case. I think I gave off uh gave I don't off call gay guy gay guy off, vibes, or, but I was very the, uh, friendly. Or the or the Playboy house guy thing vibe. I would say whatever his name was. Who I was like, very easy to talk to. I mean, I was very easy to. I feel like I was very easy to talk to. Just people just not did not care to make conversation with me, and that was like a big thing too. Big thing too with me because uh, one of my high school friends who was there at the time, time he was a student, and he and like I was like, dude, it sucks because like it's gonna be hard for for me to find someone to date and stuff like that. And he's like, dude, think of all the girls that are gonna be at this college and stuff. Four freaking years of being, of just not finding anyone. Struckling out so many times. It's like, oh yeah, you I'm definitely had gonna... some things. No, I didn't. I swear you did. Why didn't mm-hmm. you, you had like cinnamon, we had, you were dating cinnamon and... Those were like hometown people. I was trying to like, I'm saying like college people. Oh. Like, I struck out so much. <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, no, 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 like the only time that I was able to get like a girlfriend, because yes, I did have girlfriends during, during col- my college years, but it was never like someone from college. It was someone from my hometown that I don't know how it just, it just, it's just stuff started clicking and I got people, but it's like, I was, I was, I, I was told that college would be the way to, to find someone. You're going to find the love, love of your life. Maybe it's like, nope, struck out for four years, four freaking years of just being a single guy there. You know, sometimes being a single guy ain't so bad. Yeah, I yeah, know. It's not so bad, but it's just like, I was hoping for, like, some sort of person to jump out. I don't know, man. The women at school were, like, hoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. After after the four years, kind of, you kind of now realize, like, dude, it was big fraternity parties. It was a lot of fraternity parties there. Yeah, so I've gone to like the fat parties. I've gone to a sorority party. Um, there, there wasn't my cup of tea, man. You know, like I wasn't. Um, I don't know. It's got to be someone's. Like, I don't know, the thing, and it wasn't mine. I preferred small, little, you know, mm-hmm. house parties. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I never, I never was a fan of those parties. Like, like I enjoyed more of more of hanging out, going somewhere with like people on the floor. It was, right. Yeah, like good times, fun times, 
you know, the times that we got to, like, you know, we're going to go over to Riley's small studio apartment and, like, just have a mm -hmm. good time. You know, actually, so, you know, Riley had a friend, you know, Thad and uh, Jake. Do you remember mm -hmm. them? Mm-hmm. So that's actually how I ended up meeting, like, actually, the whole thing with Chloe, how... Oh, okay. So Chloe had a friend. Mm -hmm. So um, I met the friend at Riley's place. <laughs> Um, and I guess she tries to sleep with like everybody. Uh, definitely. No wonder why we lost. We had three people on our team. Oh, sure. um, <laughs> so <clears throat> I like, I had her Snapchat mm -hmm. and I would never like talk or anything like that, you know, mm -hmm. with her. And eventually she was like, you know, I think I got someone, you know, you would like, and actually ended up introducing me to Chloe. And, and you know, here we are. Like, and here you almost are, almost seven years later. Seven Six. years engaged, waiting for my invite to your wedding. Hey, man, <laughs> we just made save the dates. Nice, <laughs> very good. Uh, well, she did. I'm not very hands on. Yeah, with yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not very good, but you know, you get you get us there. Um, see, I remember the drama. So, like Ashley and Danielle, at one point, they did not like Emily. Mm, wow really and, really yeah I thought, I thought that was like the trio there so it it was and i don't know what happened but like they didn't like each other they didn't really want to hang out but i would hang out with all of them and then if i was with one the other was like oh why don't you hang out with us and if i was with the other and jesus christ zach <laughs> you're, you're yeah. seriously a ladies See, man no here's the thing though and i I don't regret any of the stuff that happens, but if I look back at it, there were some things I could have done different. Like, you're not dating me, too. you're not fucking me, you're not blowing me. I have no mm. responsibility to you. Mm. I can hang out with whoever yeah, I want to yeah, hang out true. with. I remember, I remember that one time. This was sophomore year, my sophomore year, your junior year, and we were ready to go bowling at, at the Husky oh, Den, okay. and they like trapped you in the corner back there. And I literally, <laughs> I literally came, I picked you up and carried and, me <laughs> and carried you. You freaking, you freaking swung dirty too. You want me to put you? Down. I was like, dude, I want to go fucking, I want to go my bowling. Nice shining armor. Yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> I want to go bowling. Like, come on, man, let's go. And then I think that's when they like, they like split. It's like, there we go. Good, 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 good. Got you away, Zach. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was just kind of weird. I was in a weird place mm -hmm. for no reason. Like, like I said, I wasn't dating any of them. I had no responsibilities to any of them. I would definitely have, have, have not dated, um, Danielle. So that's good for you. <laughs> oh, no, I definitely would not have. She was, no. uh. No, and I feel like not my cup of tea. I feel. Like, I mean, I, I there was like... a nip slip at one point. I was um, I'm still scarred by it to this day. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, there was. I remember coming back into my dorm room one time with Danielle and uh, Ashley, and Ashley was just in her bra. Oh. Um. <laughs> well, was, hello, weird nurse. Time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, weird times. Weird times. Um. <laughs> You know, Emily had her boyfriend. Oh, um, which one? <laughs> who I'm like 99% sure was just honestly cheating on him. She got. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. Was that was that Alex? I liked Alex. Yeah. I liked Alex. Alex. Alex was a good one. I enjoyed. He was a good guy. Alex he was, was a, a great guy. guy. He, he speaking, was a frat boy. Speaking of, yeah, speaking, speaking of like, yeah, he was a frat boy, but he was like a responsible frat boy. He was a responsible one, and I and I respected that. I didn't <laughs> see anything dirty with him. Did not see any bad. Did not see any red 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 flags that I know of. It could have been. Oh, you know. oh wait a second. I remember the day Emily told us to go pick you up, Alex was there too. Yeah. And then when you came back, I forgot what you said, but you were saying oh, I some said, really uh, I, I asked him like I got deep conversations. I remember that. I got deep conversations because I wanted to make sure that that like no. that like he was good. <laughs> You asked him about going down on her, mm -hmm. like, if he goes down on her, and mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? Hey, hey, you know, the, you know, sometimes things happen, you know, and it turned out to be a funny thing, so, well, in my opinion, it was funny. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't, that's, that's the thing, too, like, like you said, I don't regret the, 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 the decisions I made, you know? They were fun times, and then they all turned into funny stories in, in, in the end, you know? 
Yeah. We have a good we have a good laughter. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, I can't get a go for anything right now. Yeah. Um Yeah, and I'm kinda glad I don't talk to any of them anymore. Yeah, I don't really talk <laughs> the only person I talk to from college is still you. Like I said, COVID definitely brought us brought us back though. You know, we we would we would we would we would talk here and there but you know when you moved here when you moved closer to me and and you know covid hit then we started playing more games stuff we started we we kept a connection going and it's and it's been a very very fun time having this connection you know um so i remember too when i first started dating chloe mm -hmm. um i kind of like pulled back and stopped hanging out with uh, emily Oh my goodness! Yeah, didn't she get upset too? Yeah, and, and, and at didn't one she, point, didn't I, she pull the like the like you know I always found that you attractive and stuff. So that's the shitty part. She made like comments and stuff like that. You know, like if you like me, why didn't you do anything like that? And mm -hmm. and it, it was weird because you know after that point, it was. She's, just wanted attention. You you lose that attraction to someone mm -hmm. after some time, mm -hmm. and you know I strictly it was friendship after that. Yeah. There was no you know like any leftover feelings or anything like mm -hmm. that. And I think once I started dating someone else, um, she didn't like knowing that I wasn't gonna be there. Uh, be there, be that, be that uh, one, be that one person to drag her out of like. Be that friend zone. Yeah. Um, Drive, uh, drive her out of drunken but, bars or whatever. So, like, I stopped talking to her, mm -hmm. and she became friends with my roommate. Um, Was it Jake? Is that his name? No, yeah, it was, it was Jacob. Um, So she would, like, come over all the time to hang out with him, and I would just kind of ignore it. Hmm. Um, I think it was a little petty. Yeah. I don't ever um, I don't remember Jake at all. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you were there for that time. No, I, I really, I really, I really. No, because I was at New Hall. My junior senior, we we uh, packed our bags and went to a new a new dorm because my brother, mm -hmm. my brother got tired of sharing a room with me, so he wanted his own room. Um, and that's kind of just how things are. And now we're here. <laughs> Did you have any floor drama? No, I don't think so. No one. <laughs> No one, no one really. I don't. I can't think of any on the top of my head. It was just basically, basically like everyone's floor drama. Someone's floor drama became like everyone's floor drama, and that's all I can think of. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I had any floor floor dramas that I know of. Oh my! God. One last thing. Do you remember? I. It was one of the Cassies. She got caught having sex with someone in the showers. Do you mm -hmm. remember that? Mm -hmm. That was that was. Oh, it was actually Chicken Nugget Cassie and Glass Glasses Cassie. Okay, and then and there, I remember and then, the issue. And then there was there was Jimmy's Cassie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was it was Glasses Cassie, and it was um, one of the girls. She was she was ever she was the roommate with uh, Chandra. Ch can't remember. Yeah, remember. and the sh I think she's the one that snitched, right? Yeah, yeah. She was. No, it wasn't. It wasn't the good one. It was the. It was the other one. It was. It was. It was her roommate. Yeah, yeah. yeah she had that 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 snitched. And she also too was um, it Selena? Because Selena ended up with the Chandra one, whatever. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't Selena. It was. It was the other one. Um, but, but yeah, she snitched, uh, and then she also too started drama with with Chandra, and she even cut the cord to her TV before she moved out. I remember that. I, I remember that too. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the rookie mistake, though. If you're going to have sex in the dorm showers, do it in the guys' shower. The guys don't give a fuck. Yeah, the guys the women don't are give petty. A we're just... The, we're guy, just... Uh, the girls are petty. <laughs> I, <laughs> basic, basically, though, too, if I was in the shower and I, and, and I, and I heard that, I would definitely be like, God damn it. Wish I... Wish. What a lucky... <laughs> what a lucky guy. I would be like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was just like, God dang it. High five the guy later. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wash your hands before? <laughs> Um, you. Speaking of the showers, do you remember when Romello um, <laughs> hosed down Jimmy in the shower? <laughs> hose, hose down Jimmy in the shower. And took the yeah, took down the uh, the water head, like the shower head nozzle, mm -hmm. and uh, 
sprayed it over the three showers of cold water while Jimmy was oh. showering. Oh, I did. Dude, I still I, have the video of that. <laughs> I did not. I don't remember that. You better. You better send that to me. I, <laughs> I just. I just remember when like Jimmy accidentally broke the broke the uh, broke the shower head. <laughs> And then the pipe yeah, that's, was just dangling that's there. when it happened. Oh, really? That's okay. when it happened. <laughs> okay. I remember I remember when, because because I went into that shower, and I'm like, well, it looks like I won't be in this shower, because that was like the, that was the handicap shower, but it was also like the biggest yeah. shower, though, and like everyone used it. And then I made sure, and then my second favorite, uh, so so there were three sections in our, in our, in our shower. You had the, you had the handicap shower, which was the left one, that was the big one. You had you had the middle one, which seemed a bit smaller, and then you had the one to the right. And I always went left or right, never the middle. I used to do middle, mm-hmm. but I don't like that anymore. Then you're sandwiched by two dudes, man. Yeah. And um, and and the, and the best times too with the with the guy showers is when there's people there and you can chat. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I'm, making a Vine video with Ronald in the bathroom. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, I he was. I need you to come up and act like you're taking a piss. He's like, but make some really weird noises. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh my god! What, I forget. I saw that too. What did you? I forget. I I think I saw the video. I can't remember what you what you said though. I just made like a really weird loud moan. <laughs> yes, yes, like I think it went. Uh, it's like oh, <laughs> so shit. That was good. Oh yeah, my then, god! Yeah, then I remember. I remember when he did like another video with you, and he and he used a lamp, and it went like you. Then it went. Then it went dark, and then went. Then it went back to you, and you made like a smile. Then it went dark, and then it went up to a close up, and you said, "Fuck me in the ass." <laughs> I remember that one. I remember that one. Oh my god! Oh, it's just like I think I, I think I lost that. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I once once I said that you like you like got pushed all the way back to your wall. It's just like what? I remember. Oh that. my god! That was a good one. Oh, um, good times. Well, there was one more thing. Do you remember the the clown situation when all the killer clowns were doing like their pranks and stuff mm-hmm, like that? Mm-hmm. Um, do you remember like the mini riot that was starting? Like you looked out the window, there were cop cars, there were a mm-hmm. whole bunch of students. No, just I remember. Walking to I remember clowns. I remember one of the weekends that that me and my brother went home. Someone got stabbed in in like our tower hallway. Oh, I remember that. I saw the pictures. There was yeah, blood there was everywhere. Blood. Yeah, and we and like we we got. We were we, we we were lucky to like be be uh home at the time. Yeah. Um I used to go on like night walks by myself. Mm-hmm. I used and to too. I remember the like, Emily or Dan I don't know, it was one of the, the girls. I was I'm just gonna go for one. They're like, No, there's like clowns, you can't go out there. Yeah. Um I had my headphones on. I th- I think I took a beer with me. I'm not gonna oh lie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And I went down the darkest road. I went behind like the football stadium or the stadium, mm-hmm. and all like the fields. I I could have definitely got murdered. Yeah. Oh my dude, hold on. I just said Marcos. I swear I said Marcos joined. I'm like I thought it was my friend from uh, elementary school. I thought he just joined the map. It says he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's um. But yeah, definitely could have got murdered. Um, I couldn't I'm... be. I remember, I remember, yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah, that's a, yeah, 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 we, yeah, that college, you know, our college is, it's a decent college, but, you know, there's some, there's always some deadly things that can, that can happen, Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, yeah, so, one hour and ten minutes in, do you want to keep going, or do you want to, I'm gonna say, we have talked a lot, I think it's probably time to wrap it up, wouldn't you say, yeah, yeah, we're doing an outro this time, Oh yeah. Well, we always do an outro. You always, you always just screw up. You always screw it up. You were too. You anyway, were too. Okay. Weak. Ready? You ready? Ready? Scene. So yeah, that was a little bit about our college life. You know, some of the classes, the ups, the downs, the dramas, mm-hmm. the fun times. Yep. And you we, know, and we, and we, and we hope we did not lose you by talking about our classes. And then we finally jumped into some fun stuff. We hope you enjoyed. Well, if it. you find yourself in the comments, why don't you tell us a college story of? your own yeah, yeah or maybe something you want to happen in college mm-hmm. if you're not in college and if you time. didn't go to college just give us a funny story anyway why not you know um, if you didn't go to college kudos to you because yeah, i'm in so much debt i'm yeah i started <laughs> my debt my debt started at the beginning of this year and i've been paying oh, i've been I've paying been, my back uh, I, well we were hoping for like to get that like little thing from the president saying like oh you're okay you don't need to pay 
and then that never got passed. Don't say anything about Biden. Yeah. I'll let you that was decide that on your own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and listening. I'm I, I'm Kevin. That's Zach over there, and we'll see you next time. Peace.